Picket signs resembling gravestones stood in front of Congressman Tom Rooney's Punta Gorda office. Unhappy with his vote to kill Obamacare, protesters staged a die-in Tuesday questioning what the vote will mean for those on the Sun Coast. SNN Samantha Sonner has more. Hey, hey, he, he, Rooney, explain your vote to me. Hey. When it comes to health care, John Munn says the stakes are high. In Florida alone, 1.8 million people are, are, are brought to ACA by the exchanges. If this goes through the Senate, then it's a possibility that some of those 1.8 million people could die from lack of health care because they can't afford it. Protesters' gravestones call out those who could be affected by changes in health care, the disabled, the elderly, and the poor. Sherry Waite says the bill was voted on without knowing how many people it could affect. They rushed it through without very much thought. And this is something that requires a lot of thought and a lot of educated people to take care of this. Waite has a pre-existing condition and is worried what happens if there is ever a lapse in her health coverage. I would not be able to take the medications that I'm on. I wouldn't be able to afford them. And I would have to just let fate take its course, which probably would end my life sooner. And I really want to live a full life. High school senior Grace Allard is worried what cuts to Planned Parenthood mean for young women. Planned Parenthood does a lot more than abortions. They do breast cancer screening. They do um, parent classes for ch teen pregnancies that are like already happening. Um, <laughs> Planned Parenthood does a lot. A statement from Congressman Rooney says his vote is a critical first step in reforming a broken health care system and the Senate will have the opportunity to make changes and improve the bill. He also says those with pre-existing conditions cannot be denied coverage, but protesters are still worried. Reporting in Punta Gorda, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network. And the local die-in was one of many happening across the nation.